Hello my soccer universe. Um, I just decided I'm not gonna make a video about tonight's games. Um, I just saw Juve is playing with the reserve team more or less, putting all the eggs in the basket for the return like against Atletico and then the Bilbao Espanol game is just way too late and I watched way too much soccer, Champions League and the Europa League uh, the last few days. I actually want to take a nap and I'll probably make a video about this tomorrow and take it on Saturday's video. I still want to get a video out and I decided let's make another short video and I know Milan is playing tomorrow so let's look at another Milan Milan shirt. There are three left for now, you know. I'm actually quite happy with my Milan collection overall. Uh, if I think about it, there are only a handful of shirts I really would like to have. I mean, if I could get the anniversary shirt with the thin stripes, probably that would be uh, one that I really would like to have. Uh, maybe one, you know, 88. I mean, I have the 1991, but you know, one of those copper shirts that they were wearing in the period that they were winning. I know that any uh, shirt they've worn in the Champions League final th uh, those years, I think is not available, was not available for sale. Those were special editions because the league editions had the uh, red and black stripe, which actually doesn't look as great because the red is so much bigger than the black. But yeah, speaking of it, I mean, this is really, yes, nice. Last year's shorts were really nice. This year is okay. Maybe next year I saw already that really, that's really good. But on the top of my head, I can think maybe of just two or three shorts that I really would like to have. And that's not a lot. So that's an anniversary, uh, anniversary short. I think it's the white 2000. 2003 shirt that they won the Champions League in and um, the home shirt for 2010-11 although I didn't like it at the time I'm still not much a favorite but that's where I won the last Scudetto in and yeah maybe the 3-4 shirt because it has the Cocarda as well if it's properly done uh, wearing of course my new Dutch shirt for me, uh, the Netherlands and Milan is not a contradiction at all because most Dutch players that Milan had actually fared quite well. And I'm thinking especially about uh, Rijkaard Hulit van Basten and Seedorf as well, who was a vital member of Milan. I think Jap Stamim had a good season there. So yeah, kind of makes sense. Which Milan jersey we're looking at today? It's the home jersey from the 2012-13 season. Um, definitely the, do I, do I want to call it the oldest Milan jersey? The last one that I'll show you might be another contender, but it's surely odd of the ones that I have. Uh, why is it odd? I mean, the striping I think is okay, although it could be a little bit thinner. This is almost what I call Barcelona striping. It's somewhere between my Milan striping that I love and the Barcelona striping. Um, but when you first look at it, it is the seemingly white line separating the black. And this is what actually really um, intrigued me because this is a look that I see only on South American teams. And I'm not even sure if there's a Brazilian team that has that exactly that look. I know Internacional, yeah, maybe uh, Sao Paulo was using it in for, for, for their way shirts, but it's much thicker. And it took me a while to realize that those are not pure white stripes. I'll pull it closer. Those are little Italian flags. And this is when Milan really started to go crazy with the Italian flag design. Uh, it's also on the back. So as you can see, Italian flag. Now, I keep it like that. What I don't like is, uh, it's nice that the red and the black separate out. And I understand that the Italian flag is uh, left to right, green, white, and the red, so they keep it also green, white, and red, but then it merges with the red stripe. I think an argument could be made for reversing the colors here to have really uh, always the red and the black meet up here, and then you have a white and the green stripe. I think this would have been a huge improvement on the shirt. Um, another weird thing about this one, and uh, I bought this at a mall in Bulgaria where it was fortunately cheaper. I, I know this was. Was this after that season? I think it was after that season. They were selling it off. That's why I got it. And I remember I was telling my wife 
uh, we saw it in the, in the store, it was a shoe store, and I actually bought shoes, and I said, you know, I, I'm still thinking about this song, because it was special, and the, uh, I immediately realized that the um, material that this uh, front part is made of is a completely different one than the usual Adidas soccer short material that we have here on the sleeves. It's, it is thinner and in a way rougher, but not having ventilation, which I found very, very interesting. Um, there's also, of course, ventilation uh, parts, and that's the other slightly weird thing. This is ventilation. You see here, and it goes in a point on the back. But I think it works well in the overall context of the shirt. I actually love that the top is red and the bottom is black. This reminds me of the um, 98 2000 shirt that I have. And uh, this is similar in spirit. And then, of course, it is the, only the third ever Milan shirt with a white collar. And what a bold white collar this is. Uh, actually, I love it. <laughs> It is really bold, white, and um, very wide. I actually love this color best on the Benfica home shirt of that season. That really looked awesome and um, retro. It has a slight retro feel, and if you look at it, um, it doesn't have a button. This just, you see the material going like that. But I absolutely love that color and I also like these white stripes here. I honestly, when I first saw the white color on the Mina shirt, this was for the 2009-10 season, where they still had everything red and black, only the color was white. That looked weird. When they did it for this wonderful shirt here, my favorite, 11-12, uh, it made a lot more sense because you had also the white stripes and they kept this here, so I love that. What I'm missing here is of course the new uh, winner's patch and you know in the Serie A Champions League logo I would have loved to have these and maybe I'll get these um, and on the back there's also not much I find this patch a little weird I think either make it all red or match it up with the black stripe would have made it better but overall I actually really like this jersey uh, look also at the crest nicely stitched I mean, it's a really nice jersey, it's a non-standard Milan jersey, and as I said, it's probably the weirdest Milan jersey that I have. Now that I look at it here through the light, this back material, maybe you can see it better as well, does have some ventilation. So this is slightly ventilated, but it's only on the center strap on the back. It's not on the center strap, no, it's also on the center strap on the front. I wanna I'm not sure if you can see, let's turn it like that. The center strap has the ventilation. In fact, all the black stripes have ventilation, the red ones don't. Interesting feature, absolutely interesting feature. But I, you know, it's not a, it's a really nice jersey to wear. I have it in a larger, usually I'm between XL and L. Ah, there's one more feature. Uh, the Italian flag effect doesn't end with only the Italian flag here, look, um, and that I didn't realize until really later. Green, white, red. Again, it makes it kind of wonderful because here green and here the red, you don't really see the red. Um, so that could have been accented a little bit better or just left out, in my personal opinion. But yeah, overall, a jersey that I like a lot. It's not a typical Milan jersey, but then not every Milan jersey needs, needs to be a typical one. And I think this is more or less the last one where they had a decent season. I think they finished third that year. Probably they finished third the next year as well, where they had a one with Golden, which I didn't like that much. Uh, the big play in that one, they lost, they sold off uh, Thiago Silva and Ibrahimovic ahead of that season. I know. Ibrahimovic was wearing that one in the Milan Derby where this was debuted and it still had the Scudetto there which actually looked wonderful there but in that Milan Derby they lost and that basically handed the Scudetto to Juventus and since then so we have all this Juventus so a kind of bittersweet jersey um, but the big player was of course Balotelli that they got then in the uh, winter transfer window and managed after a terrible start actually they managed a third place finish but yeah as I said not for the memories but for the design 
it's different and therefore I like it uh, a lot and I still wear it quite frequently. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, whether you have any memories attached to it, what's your general opinion. Again, for me the biggest feature are the, is the big collar here. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day